Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Good Shepherd Episcopal Church in Kingwood, Texas. This is Wednesday, December the 16th, 2020, our regular online Wednesday healing service. And we're delighted that you join us today for this short service of scripture, prayer, and reflection. I will remind you that other activities, worship services, small groups and classes, and some outreach activities are all detailed on the church website. I will put that address up for you. Um, we would love for you to come and uh, participate with us in other ways. Uh, pay attention to our holiday schedule for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day services. Um, remind you that we will take a couple of weeks off from uh, posting this service. We will not have a service on the 23rd or the 30th of December, but we will be back with you on the first Wednesday in uh, January. So thank you very much for your support and your presence. It is a great honor and a blessing to, to have you with us. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be God's kingdom now and forever. Amen. O God of peace, you have taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved, and quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your Spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grace and peace be with you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, and also with you. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and with great might come among us. And because we are sorely hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Besides me, there is no God. I arm you, though you do not know me, so that they might know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is no one besides me. I am the Lord and there is no other. I form light and create darkness. I make weal and create woe. I, the Lord, do all of these things. Shower, O heavens from above, and let the skies rain down righteousness. Let the earth open that salvation may spring up and let it cause righteousness to sprout up also. I, the Lord, have created it. For thus says the Lord, who created the heavens, he is God who formed the earth and made it. He established it. He did not create it in chaos. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord and there is no other. I did not speak in secret in a land of darkness. I did not say to the offspring of Jacob, seek me in chaos. I, the Lord, speak truth. I declare what is right. Assemble yourselves and come together. Draw near, you survivors of the nations. They who have no knowledge, those who carry about their wooden idols and keep on praying to a God that cannot save. Declare and present your case. Let them take counsel together. Who told this long ago? Who declared it of old? Was it not I, the Lord? There is no other God besides me, a righteous God and Savior. There is no one beside me. Turn to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth. For I am God and there is no other. By myself I have sworn, from my mouth has gone forth in righteousness a word that shall not return. To me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Only in the Lord it shall be said of me our righteousness and strength. All who were incensed against him shall come to him and be ashamed. In the Lord, all the offspring of Israel shall triumph and glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. The disciples of John reported all these things to him. John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? When the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? Jesus had just cured many people of diseases, plagues, and evil spirits, and had given sight to many who were blind. And he answered them, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have good news brought to them. And blessed is anyone who takes no offense at me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The readings we have today are specifically appointed for Wednesday in the third week of Advent. 
They speak to the human condition and the power of God to lead us through, to deliver us and, and save us from the perils, the changes and chances of this life. I reflect back on the prayer that we used at the very beginning. Stir up your power, O Lord, with great might come among us. We ask for that because we are sorely hindered by our sins and we want God's bountiful grace and mercy to save, heal, and deliver us. Now, our understanding of sin is that sin is the seeking of our own will instead of the will of God. And there are many things that can lead us astray in those categories. We need to look for, for the strength, the power, the order, and the beauty and the wonder that God puts into creation as we are discerning a path which to follow. God did not create in secret. God did not create in darkness or create in chaos. God brings light and life and stability and consistency out of the, out of the chaotic forces that were present in creation. And God does that to be our strength, our deliverer, and our redeemer. Much in the same way, Jesus acts to show us the grace and the mercy of God. When John the Baptist's disciples come and inquire, is, are you the one or are we supposed to wait for someone else? Jesus says, well, look at what you've seen and go back and tell John what you've seen. Good news is proclaimed. The poor have, have hope brought to them. The blind receive their sight. The lame can walk. The, the deaf have their hearing restored. So all things are being brought back to a place of mercy and grace and peace. And those are the things that we need to look for in this season. There, there are thousands of competing voices and competing interests for us, particularly this Advent season. What brings light? What brings love? What brings hope and joy? What, what speaks a word of comfort and healing and peace into an otherwise hopeless situation? Those are the things that we need to focus on. That is the place where God does God's best work. If we, will, if we will reach out and call on God, call on the one who has created and delivered and redeemed, call on the one who brings good news to the, to the poor, who heals the sick, who binds up the brokenhearted, those are the places where we need to focus our, our energies and our attention. Moving along that path of grace and hope and peace we will bear fruits that are worthy of the kingdom of God. We will prepare in our hearts a place for the Christ child to be born. Amen. A litany of healing. Let us name before God those for whom we offer our prayers. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We, we praise pray you and thank you, O Lord. Lord. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We, we praise, praise you and, and thank you, O Lord. Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We, we praise, praise you and thank you, O Lord. Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. We, we praise, praise you and, and thank, thank you, you, O Lord. Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear, Hear us, us, O Lord, Lord of life. life. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent, a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear, Hear us, O Lord, Lord of life. life. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear, Hear us, O Lord, Lord of life. life. Bless physicians, nurses, first responders, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear, Hear us, O Lord, Lord of life. life. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death 
and uphold by the grace and consolation of your spirit those who are bereaved. Hear us, O Lord of life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear Hear us, O Lord Lord of life. You are the Lord who does wonders. You have declared your power power among the peoples. peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us and make make us whole. Let us pray. O Lord our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people. In the multitude of your mercies, look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O lover of souls, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Let us confess our sins to God. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, bring you to eternal life. Amen. As we gather at this time in the name of Jesus, so may our loving God give you all an inward anointing of the Holy Spirit. May God relieve your suffering and restore you in body, mind, and spirit. May all of us in the frailty of our humanity know God's healing power. Amen. Almighty God, you proclaim your truth in every age by many voices. Direct in our time, we pray, those who speak where many listen and write what many read, that they may do their part in making the heart of this people wise, its mind sound, and its will righteous. To the honor of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, let us pray in the words our Savior Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May God the Father bless you, God the Son heal you, God the Holy Spirit give you strength. May God the Holy and Undivided Trinity guard your body, save your soul, and bring you to his heavenly country, where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank mm-hmm. you.